y'all welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be a hair review video i am super excited about this one as you see by the title i am doing a bald cap method i don't think i ever done one of these before if i did it didn't work out too well so if you're new here hey girl my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so this video is sponsored by wiggins hair thank you so much for sponsoring this video if you want to see how i achieved this look for literally i think dang near probably my first time ever doing a bald cap method baby okay then just keep on watching okay <laughs> the wig that i have to show you guys is obviously from wiggins hair company you get your wig you get a pair of lashes you get an edge brush the elastic band and you get two hd caps and the little baggie to store the wig away so it doesn't mess up let's just take a moment for the hairline super duper cute this wig comes pre-plucked it is their hd lace frontal wig straight they have a straight and body wave undetectable lace front wig i got body wave in 24 inches a 13 by 4 hd lace frontal 250 percent density get into the pre-plucked hairline okay and the um knots were bleached as well i believe so yeah super cute two combs on the side comb in the back the elastic band is removable i use the black tube of the got to be glued gel to slick back my baby hairs because yeah <laughs> definitely needed to do this i watched one girl on youtube do this and it looked really nice you can definitely tell the before and after so i did it excuse me in sections i did my left side first then my right side and then the front of my head each side i did i let allowed that to um not air dry because i was trying to speed up this process so i just used my um blow dryer and blow dry each section <laughs> After blow drying, I wanted to show the difference. That's the before, and that side is the after. It makes a ton of a difference, okay? Most definitely. Then this is their HD cap that came with it. I wanted to show you guys how stretchy it is. It is one size fit all. I used alcohol and the witch hazel. It is definitely important to clean off your forehead from all the dirt makeup any type of residue because you want a clean surface to work with then i went ahead and popped on the hd cap then cut a hole in the ears now i see why the girlies like to use like pantyhose and stuff like that because it definitely almost ripped basically did i mention this was my first time doing this so <laughs> i was trying to be extra 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 careful so i went in with the got to be glued freeze gel well got to be glued freeze spray spray one layer of that then after i got done with this layer i blow dried it then i went in with a another layer after blow drying it this is the second layer just wanted this to be extra secure especially since it was already once i cut the ear tab it started to kind of peel love this spray this is like extra extra hose so you can go ahead and go in with this one at first but i did this one to basically lock in everything especially right there at the ear tabs then i went ahead dried that after it dried i went ahead and cut it couldn't find my small scissors. These scissors were so dull, did not work good. So we just tossed them to the side and went ahead with the regular little craft scissors that I had. And then I went ahead and sewed down the back just a little bit, not too much, just so the cap wouldn't like basically roll up in the back of my head because I did get a large cap size, but I got large because when I just get the regular sizes from companies, sometimes they don't be fitting good and they be tugging. So I might as well work with something larger than something smaller. Okay. Okay. Then right here, I do got a widow's peak as y'all can see, and that really drives me insane. So my hairline is kind of all over the place, but I wanted to kind of get that as close to my hairline as possible the cap that is then i put on the wig they're trying to see um, what adjustments that i needed to make so here i am cutting off the ear tabs the ear tabs stresses me out like cutting ear tabs stresses me out because i don't want to mess up anything and it just scares me real 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 bad <laughs> but got the hard part over cut that side then did the same thing to the other side 
I sped this clip up and everything, but baby, I was probably focusing on this for like five minutes. No lie. So one side, and then I did the other side. This is me trying to make sure everything fits, everything looks good before moving on to the gluing down process. And right here, this is me happy that I cut them right this time. Love the 24 hour edge tamer. Put that all over the perimeter of my head and right there by the part. Then got my good old hot comb and then we're gonna hot comb that down so it can be extra, extra, extra flat. And then this is me just kind of coming through the hair. It got a little bit of shedding, but that was probably because I cut the ear tabs. And baby, I was cutting. So that's probably what that's from. Then we're going to stick that on again, make sure everything's right. I'm using like a lip liner pencil or something, eyebrow pencil, just to mark the perimeter of my head because I don't want to put the glue past that line. Then I'm using the 24 hour um, edge timer, I think, glue. I don't know. I'll probably show it, but. I tried to be all cute and fancy and use the little popsicle stick that all y'all be using. And baby, it wasn't working. So I couldn't like get it as flat and as thin as possible. So we went right on with my edge brush at the end of that. Like a good little rat tail comb at the end. The tail, yeah, definitely top tier. It's going to be your best friend. You want to make sure this is really, really flat. This is my second coat. You'll want to wait to put on the second and third coat after it is completely dried down. I did not let it dry completely down in two to three parts of my forehead. You will see that when I do zoom in. Um, now I regret that, <laughs> but that'll be okay. Then before pressing completely down, you do want to make sure that your placement is right. So this is me kind of lifting and moving around and adjusting. Then you'll go in with your red tail comb, press down and comb that through. When I zoom in, you will see what problem I had. Okay, right here. So I didn't let the top right there by my widow's peak dry completely clear. So, make sure you let it dry completely, completely clear. But it's cool. Kind of spray, spray over it. Whatever. Right here is what I was talking about, spraying my spray to kind of fix it and then using my elastic band to melt it down. I did end up using two elastic bands. I used the regular one that y'all saw fly off of me earlier and then I went ahead and used the one Wiggins um, gave in the box because the ear tabs, I wasn't actually covering the ear tabs with the first elastic band so I went ahead and used the one that they gave to make sure to cover those ear tabs because those are usually the first ones that are lifting up all right this is the finished look I am super excited and pleased with how this came out um, I do believe I got a 24 inch 13 by 4 lace frontal wig with 250 percent density girl the wig i think i already told y'all obviously did come already curled and everything so i literally didn't have to do nothing to this wig came pre-plugged i believe the knots were bleached i just did a little bit of lace tint and i did a little bit of foundation as well um so yeah 
10 out of 10 definitely recommend the hair is flowy it's bouncy like i said i did receive 250 percent density the hair is full from bottom to top top to bottom super duper cute the curls are still there literally this is straight out the box curls so i definitely love this all the links and everything will be down in the description box below as always don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe and until my next video i will see you lovelies then bye guys